Hey guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel. I'm happy to have you here today. I've got some serious empties. I've vowed to make this happen shortly as possible, but it's hard for me. So let me just start with um, a few random things that I always have and then I'm just going to move quick. Well, my thing is this anti-plaque rinse from the Dollar Tree. You can get plaques anywhere, but I just think that, you know, almost 17 ounces for a dollar is amazing. I'm going with like all face stuff for this round. So let me just jump into, um, this is the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Gentle Skin Cleanser, uh, fragrance free, oil free, mild, non-irritating, blah, 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 blah. Um, I had purchased this to use when I did my TCA pill, but I just did not like it. It was, I guess, okay for those moments when I didn't have anything on and I just needed a very, very gentle cleanser um, when I did my TCA pill. But after I was done with that, I just found that this is really not one that's gonna like hardcore remove your makeup. Um, I've got some Revlon Color Stay that you can see is completely separated and I haven't used it in a long time and went to open it and it's just that smell that's like hello no let's see here I have some of the Lenocrim um, Manuka Honey Nourishing Eye Cream and this is the box for it this is what the jar looks like. It's really cute little plastic. It's plastic. It's completely empty. I really liked this. Um, the Manuka Honey always has these pink flowers and that's why I kept this uh, particular box so that if you spot some of this stuff in uh, TJ Maxx or in Marshalls that you would know. Um, this was um, $6.99 and again this was eye cream. I personally found myself using this all over my face. This is the Dr. Jart Smart Gel BB Cream that I was talking about that breaks me out. So this is full, sadly. And then this is the Bare Minerals. I love this particular shade and I mean it's completely empty. I loved it so much I was really, really sad to see it go. And I will repurchase this in this particular shade when I get it. It's golden, medium. Um, shocker, I know. Bee Venom Mask, Lenocram, Bee Venom. And um, there are two this time. I do not know what happened in my life before this I don't know what I did without it I, I do not know you know what it, it you know something's good my husband is like I told you guys on my bee venom video if I reach a certain amount of views I'm gonna do a giveaway and my husband's like don't give away any bee venom <laughs> like I find him like stealing my bee venom it's that good he doesn't wear he's not good about skincare and stuff but it I'm like, who are you? <laughs> um, anyway, two. Really sad. I don't even want to throw them away. Um, I finished up one of the things that was in my pan from last season. And this is the Capri Clear 100% Fractionated Coconut Oil Spray. And it's 5.2 ounces. I love this. But the Fractionated Coconut Oil does not stain your clothes. And I have ruined like so many shirts washing my face and just getting the coconut oil on my shirt so in case you're wondering these do not stain this is for dry itchy sensitive skin and this is dermatologist formulated so I definitely would repurchase that all right something else that's really um controversial I know is the Garnier uh, my cellar water and this is the waterproof version I I was like okay I think was my last empties um, I was asking questions and you guys did let me know something in here that was uh, known to cause cancer I guess or 
a precursor to cancer and I'm really frustrated because this works for me the best. I bought Simple in, in place of this and it burns my eyes. I also have some Sephora eye makeup remover that came in one of my play boxes and to be honest with you it burns my eyes too. So I unfortunately think I'm going to have to go back to this one and that makes me really sad and honestly kind of scared and frustrated because I mean I really don't want to knowing you know that it has something like that in it but legitimately this is the only thing that doesn't burn my eyes they are so sensitive I did buy the different gel uh, the adapalene gel 0.1 acne treatment okay this is over-the-counter used to be um, only prescription and I just wanted to try it because my skin breaks out with retinol and this is a retinol it says topical retinoid for acne treatment. The first FDA approved over-the-counter topical retinoid acne treatment. So I have heard uh, Sam Sherman, different people talking about the purging um, part. Um, I was curious, you know, like how much purging is purging... Where do you draw the line? Because I can't get the acne to go away when I use this. Um, this is just the smaller tube. This is the 0.5. I did oh, um, buy the small one first just to make sure. And sure enough, within like a few uses, I'm like full-blown pizza. I can use it on my chest. I don't seem to break out there. But for some reason, on my face, it's just like... A nightmare and I do not know why and it really upsets me because I kind of want to have a go-to for when my retina gets too harsh but that just doesn't work and if you guys watch my Paula's Choice video where I did a giveaway you'll know that that and I mean Paula's Choice is like you know appears like a holy grail line um, it broke me out and I don't know how long it would take for me to get past that so I was kind of frustrated um, along the lines of that, I have a Retin-A. Um, this is what I got on my last cruise. And this is called Tokaderm. It says... <laughs> what does it say? Um, it's obviously in Spanish. Acido Retinoico. And this is a 0 0.5... 0 0.050%. 30 grams. And um, this is what I have been using. This is Retin-A. This would be prescription in the States. Um, it's not as strong, I didn't feel, as my, um, the Reacil A, which is a definite straight up Retin-A knockoff. Um, but when I had gone back, they had raised their prices, and I got this for a complete steal. So, um, it does peel me. I mean, I, I noticed peeling. I think that this is generally what a point, the point five percent would be. And the first one that I got was just like, literally probably should have been a one percent um a point one yeah i really think that this is a true level of point five and um the other one is just super strong for a point five so i was trying to find the balance i'm not entirely sure how i feel about this yet um it's working just fine but i kind of think my face almost got used to the stronger strength of the other one so I'm still playing around with those but at any rate it's a really good retin-a I mean they it's definitely a retin-a and I kind of grabbed some of them because I couldn't beat the price and then I did look it up and it is retin-a but it's just um extremely different than any of the other ones I've had and it does say something acid a la retin-a on the side 
So I know it's Retin-A, but it's just not as strong as the one I had before. Yeah, that's basically it. A lot of skincare in there mostly. Um, but some of that stuff I do tend to go through really quickly. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to my um, hair care. And what else do I have? Like just some miscellaneous items that I thought you guys might be interested in. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.